French orthography, Wikipedia audio. French orthography encompasses the spelling and punctuation of the French language. It is based on a combination of phonemic and historical principles. The spelling of words is largely based on the pronunciation of Old French C 1100-1200 CE and has stayed more or less the same since then, despite enormous changes to the pronunciation of the language in the intervening years. This has resulted in a complicated relationship between spelling and sound, especially for vowels, a multitude of silent letters, and a large number of homophones, sang slash sen slash sent. Later attempts to respell some words in accordance with their Latin etymologies further increased the number of silent letters. Nevertheless, there are rules governing French orthography which allow for a reasonable degree of accuracy when pronouncing French words from their written forms. The reverse operation, producing written forms from a pronunciation, is much more ambiguous. The French alphabet is based on the 26 letters of the Latin alphabet, uppercase and lowercase, with five diacritics and two orthographic ligatures. The letters W and K are rarely used except in loanwords and regional words. The phoneme slash W slash sound is usually written OU, the slash K slash sound is usually written C anywhere but before E, I, Y, CHU before E, I, Y, and sometimes K at the ends of words. However, K is common in the metric prefix kilo, kilogram, kilometer, kilowatt, kilohertz, etc. Alphabet The usual diacritics are the acute, the grave, the circumflex, the diaresis, and the cedilla. Diacritics have no effect on the primary alphabetical order. The tilde diacritical mark above N is occasionally used in French for words and names of Spanish origin that have been incorporated into the language. Like the other diacritics, the tilde has no impact on the primary alphabetical order. Acute accent or accent aigu, over E, indicates uniquely the sound slash E slash. An E in modern French is often used where a combination of E and a consonant, usually S, would have been used formerly, écouter Old French buff slash buff Modern French buff. OE is also used in words of Greek origin, as the Latin rendering of the Greek diphthong Omicron iota, e.g., coalacanth coelacanth. These words used to be pronounced with the vowel slash E slash but in recent years a spelling pronunciation with slash slash has taken hold, e.g., esophage slash esfa slash or slash zefa slash, oedipi slash oedip slash or slash dip slash etc. The pronunciation with slash e slash is often seen to be more correct. When oe is found after the letter c, the c can be pronounced slash k slash in some cases, or slash s slash in others. Adoption of J and V to represent consonants, in place of former I and U, addition of a circumflex accent to reflect historical vowel length. During the Middle French period, a distinction developed between long and short vowels, with long vowels largely stemming from a lost slash s slash before a consonant, as in mim but sometimes from the coalescence of similar vowels, as in age from earlier age, eeg. Prior to this, such words continued to be spelled historically. Ironically, by the time this convention was adopted in the 19th century, the former distinction between short and long vowels had largely disappeared in all but the most conservative pronunciations with vowels automatically pronounced long or short depending on the phonological context, use of ai in place of oi where pronounced slash slash rather than slash wa slash. 
The most significant effect of this was to change the spelling of all imperfect verbs. The ligature OE is not used when both letters contribute different sounds. For example, when O is part of a prefix, or when E is part of a suffix, or in the word mole and its derivatives. This ligature is rare, appearing only in some words of Latin and Greek origin like tenia, ex equo, secum, ethus. It generally represents the vowel slash e slash, like e. The uniting hyphen in all compound numerals. Diacritics The sequence ae appears in loan words where both sounds are heard, as in maestro and paella. French digraphs and trigraphs have both historical and phonological origins. In the first case, it is a vestige of the spelling in the word's original language maintained in modern French, for example, the use of ph in words like telephone, th in words like theorem, or ch in chaotic key. In the second case, a digraph is due to an archaic pronunciation, such as eu, o, oi, ai, and oeu or is merely a convenient way to expand the 26-letter alphabet to cover all relevant phonemes, as in ch, on, an, ou, un, and in. Some cases are a mixture of these or are used for purely pragmatic reasons, such as ge4 slash slash in il mangit, where the e serves to indicate a soft g inherent in the verb's root. The spelling of French words of Greek origin is complicated by a number of digraphs which originated in the Latin transcriptions. The digraphs ph, th, and ch normally represent slash f slash, slash t slash, and slash k slash in Greek loan words, respectively, and the ligatures a e and o e in Greek loan words represent the same vowel as e. Further, Many words in the international scientific vocabulary were constructed in French from Greek roots and have kept their digraphs. The Oaths of Strasbourg from 842 is the earliest text written in the early form of French called Romance or Gallo-Romance. The Gaulish language of the inhabitants of Gaul disappeared progressively over the course of the Roman conquest as the Latin languages began to replace them written Latin and spoken Latin. Classical Latin, taught in schools, remained the language of religious services, of scientific works, of legislative acts and of certain literary works. Vulgar Latin, spoken by the Roman soldiers and merchants, and adopted by the natives, evolved slowly taking the forms of different spoken Roman vernaculars according to the region of the country. These vernaculars divided into two branches in the Gallo-Romance language family, the Longs d'Oil north of the Loire and the Longs d'Oc in the south. In the 9th century, the Romance vernaculars were already quite far from Latin. For example, to understand the Bible, written in Latin, footnotes were necessary. With consolidation of royal power, beginning in the 13th century, the Francian vernacular, in usage then on the Isle de France, brought it little by little to the other languages and evolved toward classic French. The languages found in the manuscripts dating from the 9th century to the 13th century form what is known as Old French or Ancien Francais. These languages continued to evolve until, in the 14th century to the 16th century, Middle French emerged. Ligatures OE During the Middle French period, modern spelling practices were largely established. This happened especially during the 16th century, under the influence of printers. The overall trend was towards continuity with Old French spelling, although some changes were made under the influence of changed pronunciation habits, for example, 
the old French distinction between the diphthongs EU and UE was eliminated in favor of consistent EU, as both diphthongs had come to be pronounced slash slash or slash OE slash. However, Many other distinctions that had become equally superfluous were maintained, e.g. between S and soft C or between AI and EI. It is likely that etymology was the guiding factor here, the distinction between S slash C and AI slash EI reflects corresponding distinctions in the spelling of the underlying Latin words, whereas no such distinction exists in the case of EU slash UE. A. Digraphs and trigraphs. Sound to spelling correspondences. Consonants and combinations of consonant letters. Vowels and combinations of vowel letters. This period also saw the development of some explicitly etymological spellings, e.g., temps, vinct, and poids. The trend towards etymologizing sometimes produced absurd spellings such as scapvoir for normal savoir, which attempted to combine Latin sapora with siri. Modern French spelling was codified in the late 17th century by the Académie Française, based largely on previously established spelling conventions. Some reforms have occurred since then, but most have been fairly minor. The most significant changes have been In October 1989, Michel Rockard, then Prime Minister of France, established the High Council of the French Language in Paris. He designated experts among them linguists, representatives of the Académie Française and lexicographers to propose standardizing several points, a few of those points being Combinations of vowel and consonant letters Quickly, the experts set to work. Their conclusions were submitted to Belgian and Quebecois linguistic political organizations. They were likewise submitted to the Académie Française, which endorsed them unanimously, saying, current orthography remains that of usage and the recommendations of the High Council of the French language only enter into play with words that may be written in a different manner without being considered as incorrect or as false. The changes were published in the journal OFFICIAL de la République Française in December 1990. At the time the proposed changes were considered to be suggestions. In 2016, School books in France began to use the newer recommended spellings, with instruction to teachers that both old and new spellings be deemed correct. In France, the exclamation mark, question mark, semicolon, colon, percentage mark, currency symbols, hash, the gil emit all require a non-breaking space before and after the punctuation mark. Outside of France this rule is often ignored. Computer software may aid or hinder the application of this rule, depending on the degree of localization, as it is marked differently from most other Western punctuation. Words from Greek History of French Orthography Roman Old French Middle French Classical French Modern French Punctuation Notes Bibliography